Welcome to Glen Allen, everybody, for the CN100 Game of the Week. Today, it's a 5A football first round playoff game as St. Francis High School takes on Glen Bard South. Hello, everybody. I'm Jim Blaney, along with Jack McInerney. And breaking news on the injury front, we'll get to that in just a moment, that will have a big impact on this game. But first of all, Jack, let's talk about the two teams because we have a 9-0 Glenbard South against a 5-4 St. Francis. And you and I over the last couple of weeks have talked about the 5-4s that can do some damage in the tournament. And this certainly, the St. Francis team is one of them. They've played one of the tougher schedules in the state. Well, there's no doubt about it. This is what they really call a trap game. People look and they see 9-0 and they say, there's no way a 5-4 team can beat a 9-0. Oh, baloney. This team has had a tremendous run. All uh, They have a tremendous conference they're in. There's six playoffs teams out of their conference tough schedule all year long and that's a very tough five and four team here and then you kind of have the flip side for Glen Bard South they are nine and zero undefeated on the season but yet their playoff point total is among the lowest in the state and it's absolutely the lowest in the nine and O's but yet on the other hand one of their wins is over an 8A team. They're one of the few 5As that's beaten an 8A this year. Well, unfortunately, it was the last game of the year. So maybe that's a carryover for them. Not, you know, having a last win against a, a big team like that for the kids psychologically could be a big factor going into today's game. Chesky looks, waits. He has time. Puts it in the corner of the end zone, oh. and it is caught. And into oh. the end zone, Zach Smith for a touchdown. And that pass was not initially intended. You'll see two receivers right there. And it was not intended for the touchdown receiver. And he just takes it into the end zone. But the offensive line needs a lot of credit right there because they've done a great job of pass blocking thus far. Prochek keeps trying to get him and he can't. Busting through for big yardage is Chris Smith. He'll take it down to the 31 yard line. The clock will stop with the movement of the chains. 114 left, 23 yard gain by Chris Smith. Just a good job by the offensive line right there, but Chris Smith got up in between because what's happening is basically Glenbard South is playing a 10 man front. Procheck will go quickly. Play fake. Post oh. pattern. Pancito. Oh. Touchdown, St. Francis. There's a little fake, nothing fancy, and you can see Zito go right by the linebacker, and it's too late for the safety to react. Good, good play, good catch, good throw. Jeske has Smith back there with him. Jeske takes a look, he has a man open. It's complete, it's Tyler Scott. He's racing for the end zone, and he will get there. 76 yards in the scoring play. Glenbard South leads at 27 to seven. He's just, it's a dead spot, right about 17 yards, right there, before the safety got there. You saw him trying to get there. He couldn't make the play, and he's off to the races. And that safety, the way they're, St. Francis is playing it, has got to play both sides of the field. So when he sees the initial turn of the quarterback, he basically is going in that direction to help out to turn it into double coverage. Pro check, quick throw, and that's going to be picked off. Jack Curtis heading for the end zone. Touchdown, Glenbart South. 48 yards in the return. And and right, right here, just a good job by the corner coming right up inside and picking it off. Nowhere to go but down the sideline for six. To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of air times or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100.